As promised, I'm bringing you not just a video on how to install an AMD graphics driver, but also how to uninstall it as cleanly as possible. Today we'll just be dealing with the uninstallation part. While you could go on and remove these drivers the usual way, unfortunately I have to tell you that a lot of leftover files will be left behind in the operating system, which can at times lead to certain problems. In worst cases, for instance, you might experience lower performance, crashes, freezes and the likes. Especially if you tend to switch between graphics cards by NVIDIA and AMD fairly frequently. So it is important to uninstall as cleanly as possible. For that there is a nice useful free tool out there that the majority of us PC enthusiasts happen to use. This on the other hand doesn't mean there aren't other ways of uninstalling out there that work just as well. Furthermore, let me tell you right away the steps required to uninstall AMD and NVIDIA drivers are more or less completely identical. That is if you use the same tool to achieve that result. So in theory you could state this video in some way is a useless copy of my other video I have already uploaded recently. I am fully aware of that. Usually we tend to uninstall graphics drivers when we got ourselves an upgrade, basically a better graphics card with more performance than the old one has to offer. The drivers of the old models therefore, if you want to keep it all nice and tidy, need to go. Sometimes drivers do cause issues, which is why we try reinstalling such or installing an entirely new driver version. Often this helps with fixing problems. It is also advisable to completely get rid of the old version in your system along with all of its leftover files. Many of us PC enthusiasts love this small lightweight free tool that goes by the name of Display Driver Uninstaller or DDU for short. This tool does exactly what we want, gets rid of the drivers along with all the nasty leftover files. This in the long term might not only save us time but a lot of hassle too. I've put the download link into the video description for you. Of course make sure to only download from trusted reputable websites. I often tend to download it either from Guru3D or from Wagnerdsoft. Wagnerdsoft being the developer of DDU. It is recommended to get the latest version. In the end just extract the files and run the tool as administrator. The obligatory window informing us about the risks involved will immediately pop up. Things don't always go according to plan, something you should be aware of. Just click on OK and you'll be greeted by yet another little window. Here we can do some adjustments on how DDU will work. For instance whether or not we want those AMD and Nvidia driver folders to be deleted too. I personally hardly ever do that, but no one's keeping you from doing it. After all, you can just go and re-download and extract the drivers anyway. Just move on to the next window. Now it says we aren't in safe mode, mostly we don't need safe mode for the procedure to work. So just click on OK. On the right now select the device type, GPU, a graphics card and the correct manufacturer, in today's case AMD. To the left we now get three options of cleaning to choose from. Uninstall or rather clean followed by a restart, clean without a restart and last but not least clean and then shut down the PC. Option 1 I choose if I didn't want to install any other graphics card afterwards but instead just wanted to remove the graphics driver only to then install a new fresh one. That's what you'd most likely do if you experienced any sort of graphics related issues. Option 2 you'd pick if you wanted to get rid of more than just one graphics driver by different manufacturers. But since you potentially could run into some issues with this option, it may as well could be the wiser choice to just go with option 1 for this mission too. The final option, number 3, uninstalls the driver, cleans the system from its leftover files and then automatically shuts the PC down. Perfect if you want to swap out the graphics card right after that. Since I however only want to get rid of the installed driver and plan to update to a new version, option 1 seems perfect for me. After a short while the display driver uninstaller has already done its job, then followed by a restart just like I wished for. And once you're back on the desktop, we are basically graphics driverless. Using a GPU without any drivers is nonsense though. So make sure to uninstall the right drivers after uninstalling. This is exactly what I'd have to do now. So yeah, sure, this video more or less is a copy of my own previous Nvidia graphics uninstallation video. The steps are identical. However, novices probably don't know that and this video, after all, happens to be targeted towards novices. And even if I manage to help out just a single person, I consider my mission accomplished. So with that being said, thanks a lot for watching.